Hello everyone, this is Sam and thank you so much for choosing to come to my channel. Now it's really been a long time without me coming here, about a week I think, I've been busy working on something else, but it's good I'm here today. Now, I want to thank you once again for coming to my channel and here I'm back with another video. Now, I have little noise coming in my background but I hope that will really work for you the way it is, okay? Just check the video the way it is. Now, I'm back with another video and in today's video we are still talking about nothing else apart from virtual DJ keyboard mapping that's what we are doing now and in keyboard mapping we are doing a mapping for the scratch there's something that is really so fun that you should know scratching on a keyboard is really a lot of fun especially you if you love scratching so much on virtual DJ than just doing it in any other way okay in case you don't have a turntable or a mixer or something of the sort you can't go the professional way just do it on your keyboard and that is what I teach here on my channel mostly now about scratching on virtual DJ I have something that is called scratch banks you must have never seen about it or you must have been ignoring it all along but there is what is called scratch bands and that is what I'm going to show you how to do just right now but before we go there if you're new to my channel please don't forget to at least subscribe to my channel because I have great content coming your way at least each and every moment okay so sub subscribe to my channel and if you fall in love with my videos give me a thumbs up and of course we keep going if you have already done that it's a great job let's see you after the video check it out Alright guys, so here is a video. Now, I've been making a few videos on scratches. I, I made a mapping for a single key scratch that sounds like this. I also made a mapping for the scratch DNA for those pads that you're seeing there. Okay, now today I want us to use these very buttons in this same place. I want us to use these same buttons, I mean, to, to, to make what is called scratch banks and see how to use them okay now you'll have to come to this option and then come down I'm a, my, my, my recorder is a little bit slow but that will work okay let's select scratch bank wow so the buttons and I have I have a few loaded the buttons come there those are the pads so a scratch bank is simply like a, a, a a pad I mean yeah a combination of buttons that you tap on and then it loads to the deck of that type of that side okay for this is for deck B so I have this loaded like when I tap on it once it gets loaded in deck B and the same thing for the other pads now I want us to use another bank of course we have many of them now here are new pads okay let's use bank B now if you want to add something there you tap on it you right click and then come to where it says pad one okay you come to the pad you want to add something for now when you tap on there when you write uh, i mean when you click there it opens for you the file explorer and here you have to pick for example what you want to use as your scratch material now here for example i have this sound let me pick this one yeah i have some some bit i made here in my phone okay then choose to open now when you do that you can see it's even loaded even from the pad itself it's loaded you can keep doing the same for all these eight pads okay just tap on the number of pad and it gets loaded so when you tap there it loads itself for the deck and you can really play it okay it sounds like this when you scratch okay yeah so that is it that is how you can do it now i have this I'm pressing a key that is B on my keyboard so I have that mapping so for you to do that I showed you a tutorial you can check my other tutorial the link is in the de description here sorry but you can come to mapping here and then check this code out okay when you tap there B in the key section it brings this code down here so in the other tutorial I used 120 ms but that is the only difference here is 50 I have also this code in the description down below so you save that and then you quit after quitting let me you can hear that from b okay when i tap b you can hear that playing 
All right. So when I was tapping B, you could hear that playing on my keyboard. That was the mapping. You can do that mapping for all these keyboards. I mean, for all these pads. You, you different keys, different pads. So that was it for today, guys. I hope that will really work for you. All right, guys. I hope the video really worked out for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something that will make your scratching a lot of fun just on your keyboard. In case there's any question you want to ask me about virtual DJ generally, about scratching, about keyboard mapping, please do it down here below in the comment section. If you also want another video or you want me to make a video relating to your interest, just do it down below. I'll be there at your service. If you have loved my video, please give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and if you haven't yet subscribed. Please don't forget to do that. I have great content coming your way. And of course, there's also that small bell you have to tick to be notified on all videos that I upload. See you in the next one.